Access Kenya Group Limited has released its first half results posting earnings per share growth of 101.3% to 0.30 Kenya shillings. There was a slight decline though of 2.8% in sales. The company noted that a decline in IT revenues was the main reason for this decline in uh, combined with uh, internet and IT sales. For more details we're now joined on the line by Chris Senanao, Managing Director of Access Kenya. A very good afternoon to you Chris. Thanks for joining us on CNBC Africa. Good afternoon. How are you doing? How um, is it in Joburg? Joburg is doing well, thanks. We're still a little bit cold here, but it seems like spring is on the way. Looking at your results, uh, profit before tax, a nice, strong, solid set of results when you're looking at the bottom line. 100% growth there. EBITDA margin also improving to 36%. I see you've reduced your exposure to the foreign exchange market given the weakening shilling. You've also managed your cost, but on the top line side of things, Growth there slightly softer, 2.4% down for the first half of the year. Why is revenue being uh, depressed? Well, yes, uh, as predicted around the first quarter of the year, our results are much, much better. We've been able to deal with all those line items in terms of forex exchange and the interest and also bring down our costs. And we are happy with the results um, and we expect the full year to follow the same trend but obviously to be much better where's growth going to come from that's what most shareholders are asking i mean if you just look at the share price this year it's really taken quite a hit uh, down more than 50 percent trading below its ipo uh, price at 662 today how are you going to extract a maximum shareholder value well basically we expect that um, now that the half year results are out um, they will be rallying on the stock in terms of pushing the price up. Um, most of the analysts who haven't understood our business, obviously from the losses of 2010, would have assumed that the company is going down fast. But I believe now that we've been able to not only turn the profit, but show where the profitability come from in the future, we're going to see more people interested in the stock. Mark you also, none of the big investment companies which hold our stock sold during the period of which the price has come down. Most of the big pension funds and investment banks have kept the stock at the same level and in fact a few of them have been able to take up bigger positions. So where is the profitability going to come from in the future and how do you tend to a drive revenue growth for the full year? The profitability is going to come from us leveraging um, the infrastructure that we've already put in the ground. Um, most of our 09 and 2010 was spent building the infrastructure. Now we can sweat the assets. And indeed, some of the profits that you're seeing right now is simply from less activity in terms of capex spend and more of um, getting the assets to be sweated. Competition in the data space is fierce, though. We've got a Safaricom set to launch uh, 4G. It's recently launched a new data bundle uh, when it comes to pricing. Telcom Kenya has been uh, operating in this space for a while. Bharti Airtel now set to launch uh, 3G in September. This is an opportunity um, for aggressive growth. There's opportunity for aggressive growth for these larger players. How do you intend to compete against them? Um, yes, the competition is heating up, the market is getting a bit crowded, and uh, our two key competitors, uh, Safaricom, um, on the on the mass market end, and it's a bit of uh, pressure from Zuku. But what is happening is that people are appreciating the fact that we are a data provider. We're, we've got data DNA. We've been in the market 10 years, and we're able to give very good, high-quality, competitively priced, um, corporate internet solutions and so therefore that actually in the last six months you can see top line growth that is a, t an, a testament to the fact that we're doing something different and good in the market so you plan to target the corporate market is that what I understand yes 90% um, of our business is still um, from the corporate market about 8% from the retail market and when it comes to the corporate market, we're still commanding about 40% of the market share. So that is significant and that is definitely set to grow.